What's up little M's beauty babes? So right now I'm going to be doing a girl talk for you guys about friendships, f fake friendships, um, just friendships in general. I just want to make this whole video about friendships because I have a lot to say about it. Um, but before I get started, give this video a fast thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to always be notified with my videos. Comment what you guys think of this girl talk and let me know down in the comments if this girl talk is relatable and let me know down in the comments your friendship situation and if you're comfortable enough to talk about it but yeah just comment down below um your type of friend group and stuff like that let's get this started okay so the reason why i want to make this whole video about friendships and is because there are people in this world that consider you their best friend, their acquaintance, your close friend. Um, but there's different type of people in a friendship group. There's the loner, there's the clown, there's the best friend, there is the dramatic one, there is the one that always thinks they're right about everything. The leader honestly there's no such thing as having a friendship group in that way but there are types of people that you come across where it feels like you're dealing with different personalities which you are you're dealing with different type of personalities different type of friendships and there's nothing wrong with that but like friendships okay it's better to have zero friends zero zero friends than having 10 fake friends in a group I'm sorry I do not care for friendships I most of my friends I consider family to me and they know who they are but I rather have a small group of friends than take 10 fake people in a group just so I could post a picture on Instagram to show I'm having fun then um, actually having fun with the people that truly care about me that let me know when I'm doing something wrong that let me know if like you know just give me advice those are the type of friends you need the, not the friends that are there just for the picture because at the end of the day a picture can mean a thousand words but that picture can automatically be deleted and honestly it's better to like have a friendship where it's like you could be yourself you could not have to act fake and like the one thing I'm gonna tell you guys if you have a friendship group where you feel like somebody is like a little off and they're not being honest with you and like you feel like in like they're talking behind your back and you have like that instinct that they're talking behind your back hold on guys hold on let me turn off my sound so if you have that type of friendship where you have that friend that pretty much talks behind your back or whatever um, and you have that instinct trust your instinct because not everybody's your friend in your group um, there's always that one friend that's like the Debbie Downer and pretty much says the wrongest things about you talks bad about you um, is jealous of you and I've came across many people that have been jealous of me and they weren't even my friend that's the funny thing they, they weren't even in my friend group and they're jealous of me but there was like my friends of their friends that were jealous of me like it was just so stupid but then there's like those friends that are jealous of you and it's like a serious thing because it's like why have a friend that's jealous or like tries to be better than you like this is not no competition you know um you know you just gotta be yourself when it comes to friendships um, relationships whatever the situation is just always be yourself be true to yourself be a hundred percent real with people keep it a hundred percent honest because at the end of the day honesty is the best policy and 
that's what's most important to me in friendships is honesty, um, loyalty, um, someone that I could trust, somebody that I can confine in, somebody that I could talk to about anything. Like, I have so many close friends that, like, my friend Salima, we talk about everything and anything, like everything that goes on, we talk about. My friend Rosa, we could talk about freaking our hygiene and not be uncomfortable. Like those are the type of friends that you need in your life. And then like there's those type of people that, you know, they always have something going on in their life where it's always a problem and they try to get you involved and like stuff like that. Those are the friends that you kind of need to stay away from because it's like if their life is full of drama your life is going to be full of drama it's going to be like a freaking circus um <laughs> because you don't want to have like toxic friends you don't want to have negative like a negative group of friendships um and i'm not saying to cut you know cut the people out of your life that you feel that is negative but it is necessary, like, if they're draining you emotionally, mentally, and physically, they just don't deserve to be your friend. And I just feel like the people that are jealous of you, that just want to bring you down, that just have really rude comments to say, and, like, they just kind of envy you, but in, a, like, a bad way, those are not your friends. Um, so definitely pick your friends wisely and pick your friendship groups wisely um like i said having a small group of friends is better than having 10 fake friends in a group because i rather have three friend three really 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 close friends than 10 fake friends like i'm still trying to learn um, from my mistakes of bringing people that I thought were, like, my friends for seven plus years or, like, friendships that I had for, since high school or even middle school, I, I'm still learning and there's nothing wrong with learning from your own mistakes of different type of people in this world because you gotta go through the lesson or, like, the, gotta go through this person to learn if they're a blessing or if they're going to be a lesson and honestly a lot of people that I lost um, a lot of people that I gained a lot of people that I took out personally out of my life because of my own needs was most of the time a blessing for me because I just gained another friendship and there's nothing wrong with that you lose one person to gain another that's how the circle of life works guys um there's nothing wrong with that but like i said if you have friendships that people are jealous um you know they they don't keep it real with you like if you're going out and you have like something on your face or like your makeup's so smeared or something and they don't tell you that's not your for real friend, sis. Like, no, that is not your real friend. Because, like, if they're going to let you go out looking like a fool while they're looking, popping like Kim K or whatever, that's not your for real friend. Like, friends help each other when they need to. Friends um, feed each other. Even if your friend, like, you're the friend that doesn't have money because you didn't get paid that week, your friend pulls up and be like, I'm going to feed you this week. I got you tonight whatever that's a true friend like even if you're like a long distance like if you have long distance friendships which I do I have a lot of long distance friendships um but like if even if they make an effort to make that phone call to talk to you at freaking 12 a.m about just life that's a true friend like I have a very small group of friends and I love each and every one of them the same just differently in a way and there's nothing wrong with making an effort in a friendship um, I feel like effort is so important with friendships because effort shows a lot in a person like action action shows a lot with a person of who they what they're capable of what they're 
you know, what their intentions are. Um, but if you are dealing with a group of fake friends, sis, sis, let me tell you. You need to find yourself. You need to find a better group of friends. You need to definitely be open about how you feel about certain people in that group because if they are toxic in any sort of way, they are definitely not your friend. Um, and definitely take that toxic person out of your life because one, they don't deserve to be your friend if you are a really good person and have a really good heart and they just walk all over you like you just a piece of shit on the floor. That's not your true friend. And that's that. Point blank. But, um, I just wanted to make this video, um, because I feel like I've learned a lot through many friendships I've had, um, friendships that I currently have, um, I definitely am so grateful for the people I have in my life. Um, I definitely took out a lot of toxic people out of my life. And I'm so glad I did because it, it was beneficial for me mentally and emotionally. Even physically, man. Like, when you take certain things out of your life, like, not even just people. Like, just certain things out of your life, you just feel so much better as a person. <laughs> like, I'd rather be lonely and have zero friends than, like I said, ten fake friends. There's nothing wrong with that. And even if you have a small group of friends, freaking envy that group of friends because, you know, those are going to be your best friends. Definitely going to be your best friends. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a fat thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to always be notified when my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.